This house is in the uh, uh, Rainbow and Windmill area of uh, Southwest Las Vegas. It's a 2100 or 2021 square foot uh, uh, two-story four-bedroom for $175,000. That works out to $87 a square foot asking price, which is about right in the ballpark with what the average asking price is here, or the average selling price is here in this area. I ran them a couple of months ago and it was about $86 a square foot and they're actually up a little bit since then so they're probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 88 right now I'm guessing. Uh, and this one's in some ways a little nicer than what the average is. It's not a short sale, it's not a foreclosure. Uh, you know, the owner has clear title on it so it should be an easy easy sale, quick close on it. And uh, again they're asking $175,000. The house was built in 2006, so it's about six years old. As you come in the front door, it's uh, fairly impressive. You have, uh, there's absolutely no carpet in the house whatsoever. Throughout the first floor, you have a uh, ceramic tile. Looks like about a 16 inch ceramic. Here in the uh, living room, uh, you have uh, a nice rag wall paint on it. Uh, so it looks real, looks, it looks kind of classy, really as you first work in, walk in the front door. On the left is the stairway going up to the second floor. You have turnstiles, wood turnstiles on the railing there. And on the steps and also throughout the uh, second floor you have a, a pergo style uh, floor, a wood, wood look floor. One thing right here in the entrance, the paint is in really good shape, really looks nice. Uh, throughout the rest of the house, it does need a little bit of paint. You may be able to pick up on this wall, there's been some spot painting that doesn't quite match up. That would really need to be repainted. And just throughout the house, all of the white upstairs and throughout the rest of the house, it needs, to, it needs a little bit of paint. You got an open floor plan. All the appliances are in place. Have uh, uh, granite countertops. Oak flat panel cabinets, just a basic standard oak pa flat panel cabinets. You got a nice uh, uh, refrigerator in place, built in microwave. In the living room, this is the laundry room here. You have uh, a good quality LG washer dryer combination that are here that are going to stay with it. A little inexpensive ceiling fan here in the living room. Backyard, it does, uh, there's no maintenance, no grass or anything. Just uh, patio throughout. You have uh, the pavers, or I can't remember what those are called. They're actually used for retaining walls and so forth like you have here. Again, it's all concrete, so there's uh, uh, no gravel to have weeds growing up through and no grass that you'd have to mow. It does have dual air conditioning units. Upstairs, again, it has the, uh, the pergo style flooring here throughout with the uh, turnstile banister overlooking the entranceway. Again, you can see here where it's talking about it needs a little bit of paint. Your spare bedrooms are just your typical 11 by 11 with the, the double you know, sliding door closets. This one, I noticed one of the doors is off. Looks like uh, it needs a replacement for one of the rollers on the top. Guest bathroom just has single sink. Again, your oak flat panel cabinetry, commode, and a tub shower combination. The fourth bedroom. Again, the closet door is off. That one looks like the rollers are still in place, so. And you got a Nerf basketball goal still left. Finally, you have the master bedroom. 
with uh, the uh, ceiling fan. It opens into the master bath where you have the tub shower combination. And walk in closet. You have the tile in the bathroom itself. And in the closet, you have the same pergo style flooring. Master bedroom is just kind of average size, not real big, not real small, but big enough anyway for most people. And you have the double door entrance. Again, it's a good basic house. Uh, got some, some nice upgrades in it. Has a lot of potential. Uh, the biggest thing it needs is just a little bit of paint, a little touch up here and there, not, not uh, any major expensive repairs that I can see that would be required. And uh, for somebody that needs four bedrooms uh, at 2,000 square feet, it would make a nice house.